y'all. I'm just walking and enjoying this beautiful day so far, heading back in. But I ran into a friend of mine and we were discussing a friend we have in common who's having uh, some health issues. I don't want to get into the diagnosis. So, you know, the realization is that we're older now and you're looking around, you know, without getting too deep and depressing, you just start to see where it is the ultimate sacrifice to um, stay on top of your health, to be on the preventative side of things and not, you know, like, oh, you're going to the hospital or you're going to the doctor because something happened or you had a bad symptom. And um, I, like I said, I'm guilty. This is something that I've experienced where I've been in a job and I couldn't carry insurance. So what I was bringing up, and I'm going to pose this to you guys, to be a health buddy. And a health buddy could be a neighbor. It doesn't necessarily have to be your significant other or your children because, of course, you're going to make sure if you have children that you're on top of them going to the doctor. How invested are you, how willing are you to be a health buddy to partner with someone? It could be a coworker, it could be a senior in your neighborhood. To partner with someone to make sure that they're making doctor's appointments and that if they're prescribed medication, that they're filling these prescriptions and actually being seen so that when there are changes or concerns, that they actually make appointments to seek uh, help and possibly treatment. Um, because there are still people in 2016 that are fearful of going to the doctor. So let me know. We put that out there. Just let me know how you feel about that. Are you willing to be a health buddy? And, um, and it doesn't have to be one person. It could be a couple of people. It could be like a buddy, a buddy group, you know, that you and your peeps, you know, you just make that connection and you just check, you check and balance. You check on each other to make sure that um, this stuff is getting done. If I have to take you or if you have to take me. Um, so let me know how you feel about that. And I'll talk to you soon. Till next time. Love you.